Hello everyone, 안녕하세요. 大家好, 고니치와, welcome back. Um, today we're here outside. Um, it's very bright as you can see. Oh, maybe you can see it now. Um, we're in the park, one of our lovely parks. And it's a beautiful day. There's sunshine. You see it? The sky is blue. The wind is blowing. It's super comfortable and the beach is back there. Um, and I'm just getting on here to say, uh, I hope you are all having a beautiful day and experiencing the beauty that's around you wherever you are. Um, if you are in a place like our beautiful islands that you're able to go outside and get some fresh air and and sunshine and just to really um, appreciate and enjoy the beauty that we have. I'm, on, I'm reflecting like on um, how important um, and how precious the gift of life is like just to be alive and to be um, here in this space and time and experiencing this moment and whatever moments that we are experiencing um, is really a gift from God and the experiences that we have um, are, are really helping us to become a better person if it's a good experience and or if it's a challenging or even painful experience and not that we want to have you know more painful experiences but just um, through our challenges we're given opportunities to grow um and so i'm just yeah i'm just thinking of like how we want to i want to be thankful for the beauty the good and also excuse me things that may be challenging um i was blessed and honored this morning to have um been asked to to share a dance a hula for um, a summit that we had here, um, Restorative Justice Summit. And so it was a, a gathering of so many uh, respected and um, amazing individuals, professors, um, um, maybe social workers, people who, um, indigenous practitioners and people who care about justice. Um, gathering here and um, it was truly an honor to um, have met an amazing um, some amazing professors Dr. Um, Walker and and Dr. Um, Manu Meyer they're amazing Dr. Meyer was so amazing she she gave this beautiful Oli um, and Oli is a chant um, so here in Hawaii when we have an event um, we usually have a chant to open and you, yeah, definitely opening an event sometimes, depending on the event to close an event. But um, anyway, an oli, a Hawaiian chant, and it's such a beautiful, powerful thing. If you've never seen it or heard it, it is so amazing. Um, and she was expressing, she told me the translation, the meaning of this chant, and it was talking about how the, the clouds were gathering. First they were small, and then they were gathering more and more and more. Um, and I believe it was something about the rain and then um, seed in the ground and then growing and blossoming into a plant um, and then a wonderful tree and so anyway it was just so beautiful and it was such an honor to meet her to meet them and Dr. Lauren um, who organized this and also uh, for for me to to share a hula um, kahiko I don't get very many opportunities to share a hula kahiko, so it was truly an honor. Um, and and just to see the different people from the different cultures coming together again for something like this, just talking about restorative justice. And here in Hawaii, um, our prison population, there are many Native Hawaiians or Kanaka, Oivi, Kanaka Maoli in our, our correctional facilities. and. And, and we, of course, we don't want that. We want, we want our people and people, all people, but especially our Hawaiian people, to to have the best lives possible. 
um, not to be um, making up a large um, percentage of the um, population in the correctional facility. So uh, these amazing people are working on programs in the facility, in the prisons, and also um, just probably in there and then transitioning out to help our people um, have find themselves, find their purposes, and, and just have a better life. So thank you to my friend Kim for thinking of me and having this great opportunity to um, to be there to share our culture. I was it was truly an honor, um, and and to hear Dr. Meyer, um, Oli, and Chance, and then and then share the blessings of like the life that we live and the work that they do because it's such important work and it's truly meaningful and impactful because when you help someone um, find their purpose, find themselves, find their calling, but you're truly changing their life. And that's something that like, that, that, that will stay with you and not only stay with you, but help, you know, it, you, you'll truly be making an impact. And I, I believe that most people, if not all people want to know that they're making a difference and are helping the, the world to become a better place. So yeah, it was just, it was, it was very, um, it was such a, an amazing experience and an honor. And, and I'm sure, so it's actually, um, yeah, there's so many amazing people there with so much knowledge, so much to share of their experience and, and what they have learned, what they have seen, what they've observed and what has worked for them and maybe what's not worked for them. And then how we can continue to integrate culture as a large part of healing and um, identity restoration. And I just, yeah, that's, oh, that just, it means so much to me because when we know who we are um, as humans, as individuals, um, where we come from, our cultures, that that just gives us so much strength and um, a path forward, a way out, a way, a way to, to move from where we have been and maybe from things that were not as great as positive towards something that is much more um, uplifting and bright and gives has hope. There's always hope, um, no matter you know where we are, even when we feel. And I myself have felt this too. Like you know, every when it seems dark and you don't know like where to go or what to do. And this is what we also I'm telling myself. We should we have the chance to cry out to God because He is always there, and and He knows like what we need, what we what we are searching for. So I'm just encouraging you and myself when we definitely when we are so desperate, but even when we are just expressing gratitude every day for the many gifts we have, like the beauty here, um, to just continue to thank God and and be grateful and 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 do allow us ourselves to be filled with things that bring us joy because um the joy of the lord is our strength and and there's so many gifts that we are given to share with others um so anyway thank you for listening and hearing my sharing about this this cool thing that i was a part of today um if you are interested in topics like culture and language, we invite you to join our free school group. Um, and thank you for being here. Arigato gozaimasu. Kamsamdita. Shishi Thank you so much. And we'll see you again on the next one. Thank you.